Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. In today's episode, I want to talk about ammo. <laughs> um, so recently I've had an issue with uh, storing my ammo. Typically I store it wherever I have room. Majority of times it's in my safe. Um, I have three safes and my oldest safe I have from Cabela's. Um, I started using that as my main storage for all my ammo. It was extremely unorganized. And then on my other saves, the, the little, um, the little sections, I would just put random ammo in there. It just, it would be everywhere and it just wasn't very organized. So when I plan to go shooting uh, or to the range or training, any kind of things I had to do, I had to dig around with my saves to find something or find, you know, my ammo I needed at that time, that time either it was 5.56 five, or 9 millimeter or 40, or 40 caliber. Um, it doesn't matter anything right and it would just be a hassle because sometimes i want to take my specialty guns out there or, you know i, I want to take my desert eagle or my uh, 500 smith and weston and finding the ammo was just annoying because i just put it in the back of the safe and call it a day so i've been scavenging um the internet for the past year year and a half just trying to search for ideas where how to store your ammo and the one thing i came across was um it's like a safe size uh, storage unit uh, from some co couple companies. There was something like either 800 bucks to like $1,500. So I was like, no, I'm not doing that because they're very narrow. So it wasn't very roomy inside of it. It wouldn't be very organized. Um, you can always buy another safe, but that's just stupid. It's not logical, right? So about, I want to say about eight months or 10 months ago, I was at my best friend's house uh, for a get together and I walked through his garage and I saw a craftsman's tool cabinet in the thing right it was a craftsman's uh, ca uh storage cabinet and i opened it up i'm like it was roomy it was a lot of things in there so i started looking at amazon and started looking for these tool cabinets or storage cabinets and i found something like 150 bucks 200 but i just was very weary i loved his storage cabinet right i, I love that craftsman that he had uh but the one he had they stopped making it so i had to you know look for a new one so i went to lowe's look at them and they're kind of expensive they're about 500 550 and I, um, I went to Sears.com. Believe it or not, Sears is still around. Shocked me as much as it shocks you right now. They're still around. So I found that. Uh, I found one there for like, was like 700 bucks. I was like, damn, that's kind of expensive, right? Uh, so I'm like, all right, no. And then a couple of weeks ago on Father's Day, the ones I was looking at Sears was that, was on sale for 399 Yeah, I could get the Amazon ones for 250 or 150 bucks, but I was very wary, right? I, I, I thought I thought Craftsman's were made in America, so when I ordered them, I got them on Monday, made in China. So yeah, it is what it is. Um, as me and my best friends were assembling them together, um, there were some kind of defects on them from shipping, right? Some damages, not all the holes you know fit proper from the screws, so that was kind of annoying, frustrating. But we got them put together. Um, one of the doors does not lock properly on the bottom the magnet doesn't connect for whatever reason just it won't lock on to the bottom of it that's frustrating but overall i'm extremely happy with everything um and it's the best thing i've done in a while as for organization per se because now i know exactly where all my ammo is um one storage cabinet i have my shotgun uh, my 22s and all my pistol caliber uh ammo in it and my other storage unit i have my rifle caliber, my my five five six two two three, uh, my six five Creedmoor, um, you know my fifty four R, and then also I have some of my tools ins inside of it on my top shelf, and then my magazines. So I'm gonna walk you through it, and then you tell me what you think, right? Um, if you have any ideas or anything you've done recently that might be better for my than mine, um, let me know uh, because I'm all open for ideas. This is for right now fits perfectly because it opened up more storage for me in my other safe. So because my other safe was mainly used for all ammo, this opened it up a lot more for me and I was able to move all the ammo out and move more rifles in there and more guns in that. Made it perfect because it opens up my other safe. Nothing's all nothing's on top of each other anymore. I don't have ammo on top of guns. I don't have that anymore. And I feel it just feels better because now I can just grab and go if I need to go to range or go to training, whatever I need to do. But I'll walk you through everything so you guys can let me know what you guys think. So as you can tell, they're, they're right there, right? One and two. That's one of my safe. And this safe right here, it had all my ammo in it. It was filled like up to here, halfway up with all ammo because I have so much 22. I have a ton of 22. And you're about to see. So bear with me. 
So this is the one with the door being funky. It doesn't always close all the way, so it's just annoying me. Um, sorry for loud bang. As you can tell, the top shelf, so I have two sides. I have a side, one size uh, shotgun shells, another size for shotgun shells. I just wanted the weight to be even uh, because shotgun shells are heavy. And in the middle is all the pistol caliber off firearms I own. As you can tell, this 50 A&E, 500, uh, 460, 454, and then uh, 45 long Colt and 410. And then this, uh, there's some random ammo in here. Uh, I bought the, uh, I bought a whole bunch of uh, firearms a long, long time ago from a state sale, and this came with it. So I, I, I just haven't really shot those ammo because it's super old. So I just leave them in there. It's just I don't know, remember. Bottom, uh, is 40, uh, 380, um, 57, 38 special, 10 millimeter, and then 45 on the left side of it. Bottom, uh, 17 HMR, 5.7, and then nine millimeter. Uh, subsonic and then my nine millimeter practice rods over here and then at the very very bottom as you can tell it's all my 22 there's a lot of 22 in there i can't believe all that fit in there it, it, it's deep in there um there's over i want to say over a hundred thousand rounds of 22 i have some of these little copies right here so this is the very first one as you can tell every like i can just be like i know where my 500 is i can come grab it simple easy organized i feel so much better because for the past 10 years it's been horrible and it's my it's been my fault um so finally i got this idea so you can see the crap in the logo, logo right there um see as you can tell the screw didn't fit this is a little bent when it came in ha huh, this is frustrating um this was bent up top there so so very top shelf you can see um i pull a lot of miscellaneous stuff in here i have some some stuff i need to work on some uh these are some muzzle devices, some of my charging handles, and some of my tool sets in here, cleaning supplies, just random stuff in here. The middle shelf, it's all my magazines. Um, I have them labeled with this little, little uh, rubber band. It helps me to defer what, what, which one's which. Um, I have a lot of different rounds in here too. It's a little dark in there, I apologize. Let me see if I have my flashlight. So there you go, a little bit better. So you can see my different magazines in here, all organized, I can, I can know which one, and these are my rifle caliber, firearms i have a 45 70 i have a 45 70 governor 30 out six rounds in there trust me that's 30 that's 30 out six in that box and then my friend gave it to me a long time ago very bottom i have 300 blackout middle 308 54 r 6 6.5 creedmoor and the far right it's my uh subsonic 300 blackout i just want to even it out i didn't i, I hate putting all the weight on one side so i tried spreading it out made it make it e equal so that's just me everybody's different uh i have a couple rounds you know ready to go you never know and then i have my uh caps here just to practice and some more magazines these came with six cubbies each of them so it made me happy at the very very bottom as you can tell i have a ton of uh two two three five five six seven six two <laughs> This box right here, I kid you not, uh, of uh, 762 by 39, I bought the gun show over 12 years ago and I haven't even gone through it yet. It's a lot. So, and then I have a whole bunch of different, uh, 223, 556 on this side. So it's all spread out here, but this is majority of it. So I would love to hear what you guys think. If you guys like this idea or not, or if you guys have, have a better idea, you know, every, every little bit helps. Um, I, you know, I appreciate you guys coming to my channel and, and you know, the time and going over there with me i just closed the door wrongly too i mean I'm, yeah that's I, mean, I did that but yeah uh please like and subscribe uh, leave me a comment what you guys think if you guys like my idea um and then it just opens up more for me put my rifles have more bright i have more guns coming in so i need a room and um obviously i, I don't have a giant gun vault to put all my stuff in there this is by far the best idea i can think of yeah it's not fireproof um it's not I don't recommend putting, you know, getting something like this up in your garage because the heat or cold depends where you live. I live in Phoenix, so it's very hot. So I'm not going to put that in my garage. I don't even own a garage. I have a carport, so it wouldn't even matter. So it it's just helps me out so I can grab and go, grab and go if I need to, right? Get my bag, grab and go. Organized, ready to go. Uh, what do you guys think? I uh, appreciate you guys' feedback. Uh, thank you for you guys' time. You guys have a wonderful day. You guys stay blessed. You guys stay safe. Uh, thank you. You guys have a wonderful day. Bye.